go and change the water. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, sir. Son is here. He can hear you. Thing I want to say. Yes, Dad. I have left everything I have for your mother and yourself. You are little now. But someday you will grow into a man. Then you will understand where I am going. I bless you, my son. Yes, Daddy. He shall be well with you. Um, Ugo, um, daddy's sickness is getting worse and he needs to rest. Hmm? Okay. Mom, is daddy going to die? Oh no. <laughs> daddy won't die. He just needs to rest. Hmm? Okay. okay. Let's go. Let's go to the no. garden and play. No. no, I want to stay with my daddy. Ugo, oh, Ugo, go. No. go and play with Auntie Maria, huh? No. Daddy needs to sleep.
Ogbefe. Azo, Azo Ogbefe. Azo Ogbefe. Azo. Azo. Ogbefe. Ogbefe, 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 Ogbefe. To the love and friendship that we share, and to the closeness that exists between us. And to us, and the love that we have. God. Oh my God. My mom is going to kill
to get a suitcase from the car. All right, oh. All right come on, sweetie. Oh, so glad to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Two lovebirds. Perfect, mommy. Everything is just fine. Especially now that the wedding is just in three months' time. Ugo, I hope you've not gotten her pregnant yet. Ugo. <laughs> mommy, I don't know. Ask her. Frida. Mom. <laughs> Ask Ugo, mom. Well, I see you two lovebirds have been spending the better part of your spare time in bed. <laughs> it's not me, mom. It's Ugo who loves the bed more than food. Come on, you asked and I delivered. Come on. Shut <laughs> it's up. all right, it's all right. <laughs> we'll soon know who is lying here. <laughs> uh, by the way, Ugo, um, did you remember to buy my um, white diamond Elizabeth Taylor? How could I forget, mommy? It's in my suitcase. I'm sure the driver must have taken it upstairs. Oh, then uh, let Celestine get it. Oh, yeah. Celestine? Celestine! Where is he? Celestine! Celestine! Yes. yes? Is that how he answers when you call? Yes! Oh yes, that's what's been going on. In fact, just before you came, he was so rude to me simply because I asked him what happened to the diesel he bought yesterday. Oh. Since there's been no power outage. And what did he say? Oh, he said I'll have to start getting the diesel myself since I no longer trust him. He said what? Oh, yes, he did. What is that? Sassy! Sassy! Just calm down. He'll come when he please. No, mommy, this is rubbish. He better know who is boss in this house. No! Sassy! Not to worry. He'll be fine. He needs to get it out of the system. Besides, that boy needs to be corrected. Otherwise, he'll just get out of hand, like he has just started. I'm Celestine's friend, sir. Friend or girlfriend? Sir? You heard me. I said friend or girlfriend. He said he will marry me, sir. Where is he? Celestine! Celestine! Welcome, sir. Okay. Who is this? Sir, she's my sister. She just came from the village to see me. My mother sent her to deliver a message to from her. Ah, I see. How many times have I warned you never to bring these things into this house again? Celestine! Just look at you. At almost 43 years of age, no wife, no child. All you do is go about town picking these things, promising to marry them. How many of them have you promised to marry this year? Hmm? Well, that's your own business. So long as you don't bring them into this house. Now, the thing I will not take is you being disrespectful to my mother. Nobody, nobody plays with my mother and goes scot-free. Follow me. Huh? I said, follow me! And you, what are you doing here? Go, 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 get, get out of here! If 
I repeat myself, it only means you're leaving this house now. Olga, you slapped me in front of my woman. Is that not enough? Do as he says. Don't you want to keep your job? Shh. What's the business in this matter? Celeste, that's my wife you've just spoken to like that. That's my wife to be. You see, it only goes to show that he has no respect for anyone in your life. Just look at that. Look at that. Okay. Now I want you to pack your things and get out of this house now. This is your salary for one month. Celestine, so you're fired. I said get out. Get out in 30 minutes. Are you like this? I agree with you. He really has to go. It's clear he no longer wants to work here. I believe so too. But now I'll need um, another cook. No? Uh, Mama, don't, don't worry about that. I'll arrange for a cook within, within one week. Meanwhile, Frida will help you out in the kitchen. Frida, please pay my things upstairs. Please go. Go. Do you know why I asked you to come live with us here instead of the campus? It's because of my mother. I told you when I was six years of age, my father died. But what I did not tell you is he made me promise I was going to do something for him. I mean, there he was lying on his sick bed terminally ill of cancer. My father asked me to take care of my mother. <laughs> I mean, I was just a little boy. And I agreed. I accepted. I, I didn't know what task would lead ahead of me. That's why I'm always very protective of my mother. Freda, if you take care of my mother, you win a very, very big place in my heart. <sighs> Your mother must mean a whole lot to you. <laughs> oh, she means more than a whole lot to me. She means the world to me. You're jealous? Nope. You're not? Yeah. Wow. I mean, many ladies in your shoe would definitely be jealous. Not after what I just said. I'm not jealous. I know your mother means the word to you. But we mean the word to each other. Mm -hmm. Damn. Come here. No. Say, please, come here. Me? Mm -hmm. Are you listening, girl? I say, come here. <laughs> come on, catch me. Yes! Come here. Now, when I tell you, come here. 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 Now, when I say, come here. He said he will marry me. That we live together in the big house. Since then, I've been visiting him and doing everything with him. <laughs> that I don't want to hear. Doing what and what with him 
You better tell me so that I will know how to follow this matter. <laughs> Is he not here? Ask him, brother. Ask him. Is there anything I come to your house that I do not lay with you on your bed? Ask him. <laughs> now he said that he's no longer working. That I am the cause. <laughs> now he's no longer going to marry me again. You must marry me. You must. You cannot just leave me. Not after all the time I lay with you on your bed without my clothes. Sele, over to you. You hear what she said. I lost my job as a cook in the house of Ogobuefi. And he paid me off with 8,000 naira, my one month salary in advance. For what? Whereas he's supposed to pay you three to six months salary advance. Exactly. He's supposed to pay me at least six months salary. And you allowed him. Now you are the move and he's the master. Think. Out of the 8,000 Naira, I gave him because 2,000 Naira. I told her to go and look for a husband. That I don't have a job. I cannot marry her. She collected the 2,000 Naira and put it in her bag. Only to start crying and insisting that I must marry her. Is that fair? But what is she trying to tell me? Is it that I'm not old enough or that I don't want to marry? It's money I don't have. And I explained everything to her, didn't I? Sele, because this is my younger sister, and you know it. And she loves you with all her heart. That is even the reason why I allowed her to friend you in the first place. I have never done it before. And also because we've been friends for years after doing company work together as Pekome. Sele, it will be very bad now if you refuse to marry Ngozi just because they refuse to pay you your entitlement. I suggest you go back to those people that sacked you and insist that they should pay you your six month salary advance. Or do you expect this poor girl to be crying for you all the time? Sele, are you not man enough to ask for your entitlement? Are you not a man? Are you not man enough? Who said I'm not man enough? Uh -uh. I am man enough. Or did I tell you I will leave my money for them? I will go there and collect all my entitlement. Ugo boy, if you must pay me all my entitlement, I, 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 you'll see what I'll do. Tomorrow, I, Eto, will follow you to that house and make sure you collect your entitlement. Eto! Sele. Eto! Celestia. Tell Ngozi to wipe her tears. I will marry her. I will marry her. See, tomorrow, you will follow me. We'll go to go Ubuifi's house. I'm going to collect my money, all my, my six months salary in advance. I'll use it to pay her bride price. <laughs> Go by. No, no more. I'll wipe your tears. Don't cry again, okay? Yes. You've heard what your husband said. Mm -hmm. I'm going Tomorrow, to... I will follow him to that house yeah. and we will bring good news. I'll use it to pay her bride price. Eh? You know I love you. I love you. Eh? Uh, and, uh, I love you. <laughs> I love you. some bits to prepare coconut rice. Yeah, coconut rice, yeah. Yes. Ah, okay, sir, listen. Okay, do okay. No, but your mama did. Your mama did? She did. Make her see mama.
Is that not Celestine? Ah, yeah, that's him. What's he doing here? I don't know. Hey, hey, hey! Come here, come here, come here! Yes, what do you want? I want my money. What money? Since you sack me without notice, no problem. I want my six months salary in advance, or I pick something worth 60,000 out from this house. <laughs> you dare not. Hmm? You dare not. Don't even think about it. Now, pick your silly self and get out of here. Huh? I still want my money. Please, leave this house now or call the police. Hey, madam, drop that phone. Drop the pool. I will not. And if you know what is good for you, you better run away now like a coward that you are. That's why you came when you go, it's not around. Huh? I said leave this house now or you regret ever coming here to harass the women. You don't have any business in this matter. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Okay. Hello? Yeah, is this the PO in charge of Fabula Session? Yeah, I'm calling from Ogot's Ebofi's compound. There's a situation here. Hello? You think I'm joking? You think I'm joking? Don't be fucked! No! What? Uh, what, uh, what did you do? Uh, 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 Mommy, calm down, calm down. Um, okay, take her to the hospital. Yes, yes. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you there. Yes. All right, all right. Ernest. Sir. Ernest, to the house. No, no, no. Go, go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. Okay, sir. Quickly, quickly. All right, sir. Sit down, Ugo. God is in control. My daughter is under God's protection. Your mother phoned to tell us that Frida was stabbed in the stomach by your former steward who came in to molest them when you were out on business. We rushed to the house. By the time we got there, they had left for the hospital. We arrived here as they were wheeling Frida into the theater for surgery. She was unconscious. Ugo, they want to kill my daughter. They want to kill Freda. It's a plot. But what did my daughter do that they want her dead? Imagine. Imagine stopping a little girl like her deep in the stomach. <laughs> oh. They don't want her to survive. They don't want her to survive. They want her dead. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll be fine. 
She'll be fine. Uh, Mom, who's the doctor in charge? Doctor Benedict. He's right there. Please put yourself together. I'll be right back, Mommy. We are through with the surgery. She's now resting in the intensive care unit. You see, the knife went deep and infected some vital organs in her stomach. Though very slightly, that was why we performed the surgery on her immediately. We expect that she heals anyway, though it's just a matter of time. Doctor, how bad is her condition? Is she in any kind of danger? Please, tell me everything. Well, her liver was slightly caught by the knife and uh, she lost a lot of blood. Though that has been sutured and taken care of. Hmm? Meanwhile, she is still in coma. But I expect that when she comes out of coma, we will assess her and then know the necessary steps to take. Or to go. I would suggest that we fly her abroad for more medical treatment. Abroad. Yes. No, no, that means no, 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 please come. We are losing the patient in intensive care. She's taking. She's taking. Doctor, doctor, come, 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 Survived. Thank God. Oh God. Frida. Don't die on me! Don't die on me! Don't you dare! 
Don't you dare die on me, Svetta! Okay, wait, make I tell you the truth, officer. Uh. Officer, we did not go there with knife. When we got to that place, Selel lost his temper and used a knife on the young lady. It was Selel who, it's not me, Edo. It's not me. And I also hope that you've arrested Selel. This one, you arrested me now because if I get to the station, I'd not see Selel. I'll be angry. I'll be mad at you. Shut up! 
You'll be angry with me. Sorry, sir. When we get to the station, you write whatever you want to write in your statement. You're yes, free. Yes, okay, sir. move. That did not use knife. Move, my friend. Hey.
I am a Christian. My wife and I and Andrew, our first son, have learned to accept the death of our beloved Frida, who was engaged to you, as an act of God. Still, it gives us a feeling of justice that those responsible for her death have all been arrested and are now facing the full weight of the law. I sent for you because I heard that you have not been eating, that you have never been to the office since her death, and that uh, you cry most nights alone in your room. You too must accept the supremacy of God's inevitable will. You must learn to be strong and always pray for her. Frida, has she been alive today, would never have left you or disappointed you. She agreed to pack out of the campus to live with your mother just to make you happy. And she met her death in the process. That shows how much she loved you. So my son, take heart. You are loved. I love Frida too. I don't care how much it takes me. 50 years of forever to mourn her. I will still mourn her. Nothing else matters to me. Not even my late father's business. No, don't say that, my son. You cannot remain engaged to a girl God has taken away from us to a place of rest. You have to pick up your life again. Please, my son, stop punishing yourself. It is affecting your mother and those of us who love you. Did my mother ask you to tell me this? No. Uncle, wherever Freda is now, she wants you to be happy. You will not die mourning her. My daughter is dead. We must learn to accept it and live by it. <sighs>
when you're happy like this. I wish you can smile like this all through your life. You like it? Yeah. How about like this? Do you like it? Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. I like it. Yes, I like yes. it. <laughs> I like it. I wish you can smile like this all the time. You do? Yeah. I want to be happy all through my life. Mm hmm but then, you know, sad things could happen, you know, that will make one feel terrible and stuff. Don't ever be sad. Whatever makes you happy, do it. Even if it hurts me, do it, okay? Life is too short, so you don't have to spend it being sad. That's deep. But that's really deep. <laughs> Come on, baby, you're a philosopher now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But well, you know, death could actually make one feel sad. It's very terrible time, you know. Enough. Let's just stop talking about these debt issues. Okay. Huh? Let's talk about another thing. All right? <laughs> okay. I'm closing my eyes now. Okay. Close. Before I open them, I want to see you out of here. Get out of here. Get out. So, my tears would have brought back your father when he died. The light you shined into my life will never be forgotten. You were like a flower. 
shining bright in the skies. Shining in the morning, in the afternoon, and gone in the evening. They say I should forget you. They say I should go on with life. But this I cannot promise that. But I'll try. I'll try. Oh God, I miss you. This. This is the flower you gave me the day I proposed to you. We are no longer the same. You are dead and immortal. I'm alive and I'm mortal. Your memory will always be in my heart, in my soul, and in my mind. I'll put all my effort into my work, and I'll try to forget you. Such frivolities. Who's the girl anyway? The beach who comes here every Friday night on her own, sits alone, buys her own drink, dances alone, and goes home in the morning with any man that pays the highest. Hey, it's nice, stop that. I bet you said that. She gives every morning, so how do you know who she gives with? Guys, do that. I know what I'm saying. Do you know if I've taken her home before? Oh, come on, face time. You just refuse to sing with you. You're here now saying you've gone home with her. Come hey, on! Listen, niggas. <clears throat> that girl is simply mysterious. But dudes like who knows how to decode her, you know? Three, five, one. <laughs> Wait. You mean you've taken her home yourself? 
idea. <laughs> That's the hype, man. Guys, we gotta go home. Kind of late. Take care, boys. You're not going anywhere, guys. It's just the beginning of the night. Nah. Have fun. Nah, 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 nah. I have a very busy day tomorrow. I gotta go. Who go? Are you really sure you want to go with all this fun, bro? I'm leaving now. Take care. See ya. Bro, hey, take care, man. Bro, we care. Take right. care, bro. Yeah. All right, my guy. Take care, man. Who go? See ya tomorrow. Make it easy, boy. So much about you. I've seen you in the magazines. I've had so much. Who are you? Can I sit down? I just asked you a question. I said, Who are you? My name is Blessing. I'm a final year law student of the University of Nigeria in Soka. I was sent by your mother, and she said you should call her as soon as I get here. My mom? You know my mom? Yes, I do. She shops in my mother's supermarket. One minute. Hello. Hello, mommy. Hello, darling. Did you see the girl I sent to your office? Yes, mommy. She said. I should call you when she gets here. Actually, what she needs is forgetting that we no longer have big in the company for now. Oh. Listen, her name is Blessing. She's a very good girl. She actually happens to be the third daughter of uh, Mrs. Eunice Okereke. The proprietress of Uni stores, where I do most of my shopping. Do you get what I mean? Listen, I want you to get to know her. Talk to her. I mean, invite her out for lunch. I'm sure you definitely want to take a sort of pretty girl as a wife. Mommy, excuse me? Do not argue with your mother. Do as I say. Listen, you're old enough to get married. I will turn 58 soon. I hunger for a daughter-in-law and grandchildren. Uh, mommy, mom, mom, that is just it. <laughs> Hello, mommy. She hangs up. Is there a problem? Why exactly did my mom send you to me? Sent me. She said you saw my photograph and you liked it and you wanted to see me. You know what? My mother is trying to matchmake us. <laughs> what in heaven's name is so funny? But there's nothing wrong there. If she's trying to matchmake us, I think it's cool. You know, I'm a little bit old fashioned myself. And thank God you're a very handsome and young looking guy. And myself too, I'm very beautiful. What about the heart? What about getting to know each other? What about love? 
So? They'll come with time. The fact is, I think I've seen you and I like what I, I see. Now what's your name again? Blessing. Blessing. I want you to go and tell my mother that I said no. I don't have time for girls, pretty or ugly, young or old, intelligent or fools, all right? Now I'm a very, very busy person. Do excuse me. No, 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 no. Listen, that's pretty expensive stuff over there, okay? Excuse me. Young lady, I said, excuse me. Have a nice day. Okay. Have a nice day too. Go. Mom. You have insulted me today. You've treated me with such disregard. Mom, I have done nothing wrong. You sent a girl you want me to date to my office. I don't have time for girls. I told her so. Now, how have I wronged you? What do you mean by you don't have time for girls? At your age, you're supposed to be thinking of getting married. <laughs> Mommy, I know exactly when it's time for me to start thinking of getting married. You don't know me more than I know myself. Oh, there you go again. There you go again. You have just insulted me again. I don't know you. I do not know my son. Ugona, I gave birth to you. I carried you in my womb for nine months. Mom, mom, don't push me. Stop. It will get us nowhere. Frida's memory still lives in me, Mom. Lives in my head. I am not psychologically ready for any girl. Oh. Now it's Frida. I thought you said the stress and the pressure of running your late father's company was stopping you from having a relationship like every normal man at your age. Well, go ahead, Mom. Go ahead, Mom. Say it. I am abnormal! If you like that blessing of a girl, whatever her name is so much, why don't you just go ahead and marry her?
always take very good care of your mother. Yes, daddy. Always make her happy. Yes, daddy. I too will be happy where I am going. Yes, daddy. Ugo, I want you to get married for your own good and mine. I will turn 58 next month and I shall be celebrating it. The only birthday gift I want from you is for you to introduce your future wife to me. That's all I want, nothing else. If I die unhappy, my blood will be on your head. Even if you don't like this blessing of a girl, there's so many good girls from good homes out there. You can introduce one of them to me as your wife. Ugona, please, please I beg of you, otherwise expect my death. <sighs> Fair lady that comes to your club. She's um, has brown hair, has a mole, black beauty mark, just near her nose. Uh, that should be Philippa. Yeah, yeah. She's a uh, pretty sir. Yes. Um, few weeks ago she was molested by one man that was drunk. Ah, uh, that was Philippa. It's Philippa. Good, good. Uh, How can I find her? Uh, I don't know, sir. I don't know. Mm. Uh, she only comes here on Fridays to club and they go the next morning. None of your colleagues would uh, know her? No, not at all. Nobody knows where she stays. So I can't find her till I come here on Fridays? Uh, you can come on Saturday morning. Uh, when the club is over, she will, around 7 o'clock in the morning, when she's about to go home, you can as well see her that time. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Thank, much. Thanks thank for you, that sir. little piece of information. Uh, You can have this. Ah, thank you so much, sir. No, I'm okay. very grateful. Um, what's her name again? Her name is Philippa. 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 Uh, that's a very strange name. <laughs> uh, 
All right, thank you. Uh, Don't fail to come. Oh. No, I'll come. I'll come. By the way, my name is Ugo. What's your name? Okay, I'm Ken, sir. Ken. Uh, thanks. Man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. That doesn't matter right now, okay? I need to talk to you, please. Uh, I don't think I have that kind of time now. I, I, I really do have to get home. Uh, uh, please, please Philip, Philippa, please, listen to me, please, okay? What do you want to talk to me? What, who, who are you? I, I have an offer to make to you. <sighs> Which is? My name is Ugo Ogwefi. Pretend to fall in love with me. And I will introduce you to my mother on her birthday. And? I will pay you 200,000 naira. <laughs> Oh, God. What do you intend to achieve? See, my mother wants me to marry. Uh-huh. And, and I... 
You know what? Can we talk about this in the car? <laughs> you are very creative. Are you hitting on me? Excuse me. L l listen, 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 please. I am not trying to hit on you, okay? I am really serious here. For real? For real. So please, can you just calm down and let's go to the car and talk about this, please? But, actually, I, I, I don't know who you are. We'll talk about that to the car. Listen, I'm a totally harmless person. All right? Please. Thank you. Morning. Mom? I met this girl some two, three months ago. Her name is Philippa. Well, um, two weeks after we met, she returned to the UK because that's where she's based. I see. So yesterday I gave her a call and um, we spoke at length. I informed her of your birthday and I invited her over I to see. Nigeria. I see. So, mommy, she will be here a day before your birthday or on your birthday. That depends on when she's able to confirm the ticket. Mm. You know. She's just uh, Philippa? Yeah, I'm Philippa Johnson. <laughs> Philippa Johnson. Mm. Well. well. When you speak with this Philippa next time, do let her know that she's most welcome in our home. And that we'll be glad if she can spend the time with us here in the house rather than stay in a hotel. Well, I'm not too sure about that. But I'll try to convince her to see if she'll stay here. You try and do that. Hello, Mom. Are you having some of this? Oh, sure. Uh, why don't you sit down and get you some? Uh, don't worry, mommy. Okay.
Welcome, sir. Hey, how are you, Musa? Welcome, madam. Okay, how are you? So. Father used to like sports. <laughs> and the mother, you know. Wow. Too bad, too bad. You know, my place of abode. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, come, come. Sure. Um, just give me a sec, okay? I'll go call my mom. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't forget all I told you. I wouldn't. Step up a little bit. English, sweet. Sure. Mommy? 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 Come, my dear. So much. Please do sit down. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> and um, by the way, happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you, my dear. Thank you. So nice of you to have been able to make it. Yeah. yeah. How was your flight? Oh, just beautiful. So smooth. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, Ogo tells me you reside in the UK, uh, London. Where exactly do you live in London? I am um, uh, Mommy, allow me to introduce Philippa formally to you. Philippa, she's my friend and she'll be staying with us for three weeks. Oh, three weeks? That's nice, that's nice. <laughs> You're most welcome, my dear. Thank you so much. And Philippa, here is my mother. My dearly beloved mother. At 58, still looking very young. I can see that. Lady Jemima Ogwefi. Oh, it's most pleasurable to meet you, Mom. Ah, by the way, I got you a present. Mm, really? Yes, yeah, sure. Oh. <laughs> happy birthday one more time. Oh, thank you and very happy much. Return. Oh, thank you very much. This must have cost you a lot. That's okay. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. And You're to welcome. think that you bought this especially for me. Thank you so You're much. <laughs> you see why it's so nice to have daughters-in-law? You know, for a woman who has no female child. I mean, <laughs> the girls know what to do, what to buy, to please the mother. Mm. <laughs> You're right, man. Ah, thank you. Well, um, you take her to her room, get her, let her freshen up and uh, settle in properly. Then you'll come downstairs and have something to eat. I've yeah. told Maureen, the cook, to prepare something really delicious. <laughs> I hope you'll like it. <laughs> And just a reminder again, today's my birthday, 58th to be exact. And uh, so we'll be having a birthday dinner at La Classe Restaurant. So get enough rest and um, I'll see you later. Sure. Good morning. <laughs> so excuse me now. <laughs> and my dear, thank you once again for this. Yeah. And do feel at home. I will. See you later, darling. Bye, mommy. Yes, it was. 
worked. Oh, it worked. So far, so good. Thank you for coming to my rescue. I wasn't prepared for that question. Which one? The one where she said where I resided in England. I would have messed up because I had no ready answer. That was no part of a rehearsal. <laughs> that one. You know what? When next she asks again, just say St. John's Wood. St. John's Wood. St. John's Wood. 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 Fine. Good? Yeah, sure. I won't forget. Fine. Um, besides, are we going to be sharing a room? Because I don't think that is going to be. Don't worry. You see, my bed is very large. Don't worry. Our bodies won't even touch, okay? I hope not. I'm telling you. Come on, let's go. Oh, so far. Thank you. I mean, do I have to rush into the restroom if some I have to change my clothes? What if you snore at night? Can I stand it? I mean, must you know how many times I use the toilet in a day? Oh God, for two people, a man and a woman, to share one room for three whole weeks. There really have to be something going on. Uh, I really do not understand this. Okay, okay. You know what? We're going to have to learn to tolerate each other. It's as simple as that. Come on. I'm hardly in this place because I go to work. So you have the whole room to yourself. And hey, if it's money you want, more money, tell me I'll pay. Is this what this is all about? You think I'm doing this because of money? What else? <laughs> you don't love me, and I definitely don't love you. I've paid you 200,000 naira already, and I'm willing to pay more. Okay? <laughs> oh, yes. My family is rich and comfortable. So why don't you take my advice, my dear lady? Hmm? the best you can do for yourself right now is enjoy while it lasts. Well, for your information, Mr. Rich and Comfortable Man, maybe it will interest you to know that I'm doing this just to distract myself. Sorry. Uh, mommy. <laughs> Good evening, Mom. Good evening. Well, I see you two lovebirds are engrossing each other. Philippa, no. There's no need to be shy. Listen, it's good to see you do that with the man you're about to get married to. <laughs> well, I just came by to uh, inform you that it's about time you got dressed for my birthday dinner. Oh, oh. is it time already, Mom? You see? <laughs> when you're with your loved one, it's hard for you to realize how fast time flies. Well, I'll be off to my room to shower and get dressed, and um, you two just take some more time, catch some more kisses, and um, get dressed. But don't be late. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you see later. You. All right, Mia. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Is this how I'm going to live my life for the next three weeks on edge? Goodness. Kissing a man I don't even know how much more love. Stop <clears throat> complaining. This is business. 
Ordinarily, what would I be doing with a girl like you? If you insult me one more time, I'm going to return your money and walk out. You won't dare. I won't! You will not. Anyway, I'm not going for that birthday party. Like hell you will. I will not. Yes, you will. Fine. What if somebody who has seen me dancing at the club recognizes me while your mother is there? What would you do? I bet you never thought about that, did you? Anyway, make an excuse for me. Tell I've got a bad head, uh, leg, headache or something, you know. I just have to rest after such a long flight. Hmm? I'll be here, okay? Enjoy kissing you? In my entire life, there is only one girl I enjoy kissing. And believe me, that girl is not you. Go and find her then and give her a kiss. Give my poor lip a break in front of your mother. She's dead. Who's dead? The girl I love kissing. The girl I love. Now you know. So please, let's try not to quarrel this night. Please. It's a pity. What's a pity? I mean, the girl. The one who died. Did you love her very much? She was the sun in my sky. She was my life. Good night. Good night.
you, I mean, you prepared some food again today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I have some more to try and relax. I'm just take a look at Okay. That's so that's nice. nice. That's so nice of you. Yeah. Oh. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi, Hi mommy. Hello, mm. darling. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. How are you? Hi, thank you. How's the work? Ah, pretty hectic. Oh, my dear. Do you know that Philippa prepared another meal, tasty one for that matter, for us again today? Mom. Oh, oh. wait a minute. Were you the one who washed my clothes? Yes, I did. Why didn't you put it in the washing machine? It's right in the laundry room. Mom, I was bored. You were sleeping. I don't think, I don't see anything wrong with what I did. I just washed the clothes. That's all. I mean, come on. My late husband would never allow me to wash his clothes. He would always take his clothes to the dry, to the dry cleaners, you know? And he would say like, he didn't bring me to his house to be a slave, so he will never let me touch them. <laughs> Philippa washed my clothes. Oh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and you know what she's been doing again? She's been cleaning the whole house. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. All by herself. <laughs> All by herself. Okay, that's good. I was bored. How did he come to be like this? How am I, mom? I mean, so sweet and amazingly likable. I mean, I just try to get myself useful, you know, I mean, I don't see it as work. I mean, that's work. It's some hard work, you know, real hard work. <laughs> um, I better call Maureen to serve the food. No, 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 let her do it. Oh, thank you. Bye. Oh. Be back soon. All right, dear. She is so sweet. Yes, she is, isn't she? Oh, my God. I can't believe, I mean, she is wonderful. <laughs> I think you're just going to be lucky to have her as a wife. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm so tired. I'm oh, sorry, dude. It's so a long day. A very long day. You cannot imagine. Oh, look at my baby. <laughs> her food will make you strong now. I hope. It'll boost your energy. <laughs> Can I get you something? I mean anything. If for nothing at least to say thank you for making my mother happy. You know she's been very lively and um, she's not been bugging my life anymore about marriage. No thanks. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, if you say so. See you in the evening then. Bye. Bye. Specially ordered oh, from um, cost of Gypsy you. Shells. Oh, mommy. Oh, thank, oh, thank you, you. darling. Oh, oh, thank oh, you, oh, sweetheart. <laughs> I have to taste it first, girl. Mmm. Mm. Thank you. So, why didn't you take a bit from mine? Oh, well, mommy, you know. <laughs> All right, I understand. <laughs> and um, cheers. That's to you, both of you. Cheers. Lovely wedding thank and you. lovely married life. Thank you, mommy. 
Mm. So, uh, where do you intend to have your wedding? Over to you, Philippa. Um, in, in London, of course. Where else? London? Yeah. Oh, I would have thought of somewhere like um, Asia. Asia? Oh, yes. Southeast Asia? <laughs> yeah, right. Asia. You know, they actually do have some exotic uh, resorts there. I mean, like that of the... Uh, Buraka there. Islands. Yes. Burakai. Buraka. Where is that place? Ugo, I hope you're not trying to run away from saying I do. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry. The pictures I saw when he came back, they are lovely. They're just lovely lovely. They're wonderful. But um, if I may suggest, you could do something a bit old-fashioned, you know, unusual, like um, have the wedding in the village. You know, a country wedding with a country reception in the country, with country people. people. And you could actually have your friends from the UK and Europe to come and have a taste of the country. Yeah. yeah. And you know what, Mom? Yeah? We could have our after-wedding party filled with red cup chips and the um, and, um, native doctors uh, with chickens and goats oh, coming don't to the silly. That is the extreme. <laughs> no, it, it is not that bad. It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that no. way. What you have is uh, more or less of a cultural blessing for your marriage. That's it. And come to think of it, how many young couples have the opportunity to have such? And mom, you know what? That's true, you know. It will even save us cost. We won't have to um, print invitation cards, you know. We just have some um, town crier to invite <laughs> all the villagers. Wow, that is good. And that then is dream. we won't have to spend money on wine and <laughs> drinks and champagne. All we need to do is just have some food to make rock compote. Sakurin, Sakurin. or Zobo or Brukutu or something, you know. Please. 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 Oh, mommy, please. <laughs> A wedding, you know? Um, Philippa, my darling, mm -hmm. I think we'll stick to your own venue. And so we'll have it in, um, in the UK, where you can have your friends attend. Attend? Yeah. yeah. Philippa. Yes, please, love? Buraka is still the best. Sweetie, don't you want me to say I do naked to you? Naked? Yes, don't you please say the baby, I love it. <laughs> Yes, come in. Hello. Oh, Hi, Philippa. How are you, darling? Hi. Come, 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 come. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, sit down, darling. I'm just trying to match this to see which will go. I will be attending a function organized by the company proprietors tomorrow. Oh. And um, I forgot to mention it to you that I would like you to accompany me. You're not saying anything. Um, I actually came to um, remind you that my flight is for tomorrow evening. Have you forgotten how I'm going to travel tomorrow? Goodness. It's three weeks already. Yeah, so fast. Oh, how I wish you could stay with us some more. I'll come back soon. I, I know. You. But I've really grown to like you a lot. And I'll miss you. I'll miss you tomorrow. <laughs> Can't believe this. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. I think I'll just. Um, I think I'll just use this. I'll use this with it. Yeah. Yes. It goes. It goes. Yeah. Well, so have you had something to eat? Um.
Why are you staring at me? Nothing. Should I shut my eyes? <sighs> anyway, the holiday is over. Tomorrow I leave. Yeah, sure, of course. So how do you intend to continue? I mean, very soon your mother will soon start pestering you to invite me over to Nigeria. What are you going to tell her? Well, I'll tell her that um, you've gone to study and you'll be back for another two or three years and that you couldn't be distracted by marriage at the expense of your studies. Wow. That is smart. Of course. So that means you wouldn't have to disturb you for some time now. Yeah, but before then, I, I'll think of some strategy, brilliant strategy to use. But honestly, don't you intend to get married someday? Honestly? Yeah. No. Don't worry, you won't understand. It's not about being in love with Fred or anything. I actually feel guilty over her death. You know, she died in this house. Yeah, and I was the one who invited her to stay, you know. So why be alive? and enjoy and marry when she's out there cold lonely in the grave what about you you've not said anything about yourself you know well i live with my auntie in the outskirts of this town you know somewhere very far away you mean you you come all the way from there to the club every Friday? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? Um, let's just say I'm just looking for something to distract me. Distraction? Uh, maybe I should just use the word adventure. I'm looking for an adventure. Yeah, that's why I accepted to come here in the first place. The money didn't count. Actually, I have little respect for money. Go on. Tell me more. I want to know everything. No. Whatever. Tomorrow I'm just gonna drop you off. You go your way, I go my way. Everyone is happy. It was nice doing business with you. No problem. At least I'll be free from this film and fake kisses we put up in front of your mother. You see, that's it. That's just it. You will never change. God, you complain too much. You too. You can never change. You always complain that I complain too much. Take this feet off my box. You're just impossible. Whatever. Damn. How did your mom even cope with you in the first place? Please, can you just hurry up with that thing so I can just steal my space? God. You think I know all the faces you're making? I'm seeing you, you know. Tomorrow I leave. Fine. Bye. Sure. You know what? Let's just be nice. Mm. Put on a smile. A smile. Sure. Nice step out. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. I was making sure they packed the bag. <laughs> oh, mommy, is it that Carrie? Mm, not to mention, she's my daughter, you know. <laughs> I know you're going to miss her. Oh, yes, I will miss her. He really loves you. Me too. I love you too. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, oh let's go. mommy, you can't go. You need to be alone, remember? Oh, really? Yes. Uh, well, I understand. Okay, all right. Well, okay, all right, darling. Mm. All right, darling. Um, take good care of you, Mom. All right, then. I'm you to have a you. safe flight, sweetheart. <laughs> Bye. Bye, darling. Call me as soon as you get in. Abu, Mom. Bye. Bye, darling. All right, Mommy. Bye-bye, right. bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.
driver. Um, let the driver take you. Don't worry. It's food enough to run once, Tomok. I'm sorry, love you. The next time you prepare a meal like this, or fried rice by beans rather, you'll have to eat the whole pot all by yourself. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Now, take this out of my face. I can't even eat it. Mommy, if that girl can't cook, suck her! Damn! We're not running a charity organization here. Come, 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 come. We'll go. Come. You've been a bit withdrawn. What's wrong? I'm fine. Have you had something to eat? I'm not hungry. It's Philippa, isn't it? You're missing her a lot, huh? I guess. Well, it's only natural that um, you miss your loved one, especially when you're not together. <sighs> I miss her. I really do. It's just that I can't believe I... Never mind. I'll be in my room. Uh, aren't you going to have something to eat? No, I'm hungry, Mom. Maureen! Maureen! My son also cannot eat you. Please take this thing away and bring the table.
Is the fruit ready now? Yes, sir. Okay, please serve it. to sit right there beside you each time we had dinner. Mom, please just, just stop. You don't need to remind me. I miss her enough already. This is what I'm talking about. You should call her I and mean, get to talk to her more often. It makes it better. I mean, she's the kind of girl that, you know, you'll miss. <coughs> now, what is wrong? Nothing. I just lost my appetite. See you again. I thought I had lost you. I'm so, I'm so glad that you came back to me. Oh my. Oh, Philippa. Oh, Philippa, I will never let you go. I promise.
Thanks a lot. You're welcome. I have to go in now. It's been a crazy night for me. It wasn't a crazy night. I knew what I was doing. See, I came to see you because... because I really wanted to. Okay. You've seen me, you've touched me, you've kissed me, you've held me in your arms. So can I go now? Even if I did that every day, it still wouldn't be enough. Philippa. Hmm? I'm going to surprise you with what I'm going to say now. <laughs> Nothing surprises me anymore, Go, so say it. When I knew I was going to marry Freda, my heart beat very, very fast. My heart is doing the same now. But I thought I didn't have time for women. I thought so. Till you left and I missed you terribly. See, I have to go in now. Um, at least I have to let my auntie know that I'm around, or else she'll probably think they killed me in the night. Okay? Philippa. Yeah? Marry me. No! Okay, um, I want you to be my boyfriend. I mean, so like, let's see how it goes from there. So, will you be my boyfriend? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I'll see you soon, okay? Okay, take care. Take care. Bye. Bye. Tell me everything. My father and my mother are retired civil servants who live in the eastern part of the country. In a good to be precise. My father put in 35 years of his time in the civil service and retired without achieving much. So being the only daughter, my parents wanted me to marry a rich and arrogant man. Do you know who that man is? No. Who is he? Johnson Duke, a multi-millionaire, a brother to one of the governors in the East. 
Johnson Duke. Who doesn't know him in this country? Johnson Duke came into my father's house with all his pride and arrogance to ask me to marry him. I disliked him instantly. My name is Johnson Duke. I am hardly in the country. I just came in from the Bahamas. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, I, you know, I love your daughter, Philippa. And I've come to ask her hand in marriage. Of course, I know Philippa will be extremely lucky to have a guy like me as her husband. <laughs> you don't worry, I am going to spoil her silly. You know, show her around the world, take her on romantic trips. I actually brought her a present from the Bahamas. Is she in? Can I, can I see her? Yeah. Uh, Sweetheart, please call her. Philippa? Philippa? Philippa, dear? Mama? Please come. Good afternoon, Johnson. Good afternoon, my charming angel. I'm sure you didn't believe me when I told you I was going to come and see your parents today. You called me, Mama. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, Philippa. Do you know him? Yes, I do. I am really happy to hear that both of you have started talking. And that makes me believe that uh, you know why he is here. No. No, Papa. Why is he here? Oh, come on, my angel. To marry you, of course. And make you the luckiest angel on earth. Excuse me, Papa. I have to go in and rest. Philippa! Madam, madam, don't worry. She will come around. That's a lovely girl you have here. <laughs> I know. And I'm going to change her life. And that of the entire family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good to hear. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You couldn't believe what I did to him. What did you do? I walked out on him. I didn't say a word to that proud fool. I went straight to my room and shut the door. And what did he do? He left. He came back again. He kept coming over and over again for two months. But my response was the same. How can I marry such a man? How can I marry a man because of his money? And your parents? Oh, he lavished money and gifts on them. He was my father's pension and retirement benefits. Soon the battle line was drawn between my parents and I.
Times are indeed very hard, especially for retired pensioners like you. Well, this is a check for 300,000 naira. I want you to, you know, just manage it and clean up a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, my good son-in-law. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I really dreamt of it. You see, with this kind of gesture, I know that good days are here for me and my family once again. Uh, thank you very much and God bless you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. And you, madam, I have not forgotten you. You know, mothers like you need to take a break once in a while. Like my mom, she's on vacation in America right now. Really? Ah, that's good. Even though times are hard, you need to continue testing oil. This is another 300,000 naira. You know, use it and start a little trading. For me? That's Thank you. Good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Eh? And may God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. <laughs> may God bless you. Amen. Amen. Uh, God will replenish your pocket. Johnson is God sent for you. God sent for the entire family. He is your husband. Whether you like him or not, you must marry him. I will not. I will not marry him, Papa. I, I don't even love him. How can I marry a man who doesn't have respect for me, for you or not for Mama? All he thinks about is his money. Uh -huh. Is it not his money? What is wrong with him thinking about his money? My dear, let me tell you something. Money is good. Oh, so you do not want me to follow you when you travel abroad to have your baby, eh? And listen, my dear, let me tell you something. This man is comfortable. He's rich. I come to think of him very handsome. Come on, Philippa. He's been coming here for over one month, professing love for hey, one month. Mama, go and marry him yourself now. Look, Help me out. Look. I'm not... Listen, I have two options for you. Marry Johnson or leave this house. Are you asking me to leave my own father's house? I mean it. Marry him or leave this house. Papa. How can you ask me to leave this house? Yes, of course. Leave this house. Bring comfort to your father and mother. Or go away from here. Go! Papa. How can you ask me to leave this house? What for, Papa? What for? Why? Why are you asking me to leave this house? Mama, why are you even asking me? Why are you... <laughs> I left the house without telling them where I was going. I came to Lagos to stay in this house with my Auntie Rose, my mother's elder sister who is a widow. So you see, we both have similar problems. We're somehow running from a forced marriage. Your mother wants you to marry any girl. My parents want me to marry for money. So I guess we're people on the run. And now we've found each other, haven't we? Yeah, sure. People on the run always find each other. Yeah.
two years ago promises is all I heard. Wait a minute. Oh, guys. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah bro, I told you because I got a joke card. Mooski, I'm about to crucify someone here. I'm crucifying who? I'm crucifying who? Play the game. Play the game. Play the game. Yeah. I've been in this game for 27 years. But you never told me your father paid his house rent to this game. I'm not a little boy. I'm not a little boy. <laughs> you don't try me, boy. Mm. Mm. Check. When it comes to this game, you're better. Mm. Mm. Jim, thanks for the drink. Gotta be on my way, man. Thank you. But why so soon? <laughs> Guy, see that it's my turn to trash you. Don't worry, you and I will deal with ourselves next time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but really, I, I have this, um, I have a date with Philippa in the next 30 minutes. It's Google. Don't tell me you're taking this thing you have with that club girl serious. Sure, man. As a matter of fact, I'm beginning to get so fond of her. I mean, how can you be fond of a girl who has virtually slept with every guy in the neighborhood? Come on, Google. We're all friends. And we want the best for each other. That girl does not want the sole of your shoes. She's not your type, man. She sleeps with every guy in the neighborhood. No, no, no. Ha, that's enough. That's a lie. It's a lie. Stan can testify to it. Ask him. Look. Stan? Look, look, you guys have to count me out when the issue is concerning love. Beth, go. I am sure you're not considering anything serious with that girl. It's obvious we are slept with her. Hey, Stan. Do you have any proof? I am the proof. Stan, are you gonna swear? Are you gonna swear that you've as much as touched that girl before? Are you going to swear it? God. I swear, not only have I touched her, I mean, I've been there, big time. Guys, I'll see you later. Go, go. I'll see you later. Go, go. You must have to believe me. I have to go. Jim, I don't like it. I don't like it. Man, stop this. That girl is a prostitute and you know it. We have to tell him the truth. He's our friend. She does never be a prostitute. Have you ever been to that club any day without seeing that girl? Oh, come on. Don't touch her like that. Fine. Jim, she smokes, she drinks. Why are you taking her serious? Do you want to marry her too? I find so much love in him, auntie. He's so kind, so gentle, and so caring. Ever since he came back to me, I've done nothing more but to love him more and more. But you said his mother doesn't know you are seeing each other. It would be good if she knows, since he listens to her a lot. I know, Auntie. He doesn't want to tell her yet until, until he's sure I, I, I want to marry him. You know, and... After which he's going to sit her down, explain everything to her, and announce her wedding date, and before anything else. What about your parents? I mean, my younger sister and their husband. Won't you tell them? Auntie, I ran away from home to come here to hide. I'm not going back there until I'm already married, unless I'll have to dance to their tune. He's here. I have to go now, yes. Are you going to stay out late? I don't know, Auntie. I don't know, but I suspect he's going to propose to me. And if he does, I shall agree. Oh, yes, Auntie. I wish, wish you me good luck. luck. <laughs> oh, I love you, Auntie. Please pray for me. Right. 
<laughs> young love. <laughs> so loose even to have slept with my own friends I don't know what you're talking about do you know Tony does the name Stanley ring a bell no who are they you lie Jesus Christ Christ how could you how could you have dashed my dreams of getting married into pieces because of your lifestyle of clubbing and sleeping around sleeping around Excuse me, have you come here to insult me? Yes, I dance, but I've never slept with any man. Liar! 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 You lie! Please, leave now. Just go. You know what? I'm gone. I'm out of here. This ship has sailed. Just a mistake. There's only one girl I love in my life, and that's Freda. Uh -huh. The rest of you all are a bunch of mistakes. Oh, Hell with you, man. <laughs> Consignment is wrong, email. He's supposed to bring in 17. And he brings in 15. What happens to the two? I'm gonna hold him accountable to that. Yes, I'll do that. Alright, um, okay, you know what? You get back to me. Yeah? Alright, alright. Ask him to come in. Jean, Jean! <laughs> Boy, don't you look good today? You look good too. Thank you. Come yeah. on, what's to me? What are you doing in my office at this time of the day? Hmm? Should be at work, man. You must be glad I'm here. Really? Yeah. Oh, please, sit down. <laughs> uh, so what can I offer you? Tea, coffee? Don't worry. Something good came up. Alright, alright. I'm all ears. Tony. And Stan lied against Philippa. Excuse me? You heard me. I said Tony and Stan lied against Philippa. Apparently, both of them had made woes to her. But she never accepted any of them. So, Tony went ahead lying to Stan, he had been there. Stan, too, lied to Tony, he had been there. Both of them never knew they were lying to each other. When you left yesterday, we had a thorough argument. We argued and argued and argued for close to two hours. Eventually, Stan opened up. He told me he never had anything to do with Philippa. And then Tony. I was shocked. So shocked. I tried to reach you, but none of your lies could go through. Jim, are you sure of what you're saying? I am sure. Jim! Are you sure of what you are saying? Yes, I am. Damn. 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 Oh, man. Where do I start from? Where the heck do I start from? I hope nothing has gone wrong. Everything is wrong. A whole lot is wrong. Where do I start to tell Philippa I'm sorry? From what point do I apologize to her? Oh man, yeah. whoa, whoa. Oh, God. Whatever did I do to stand and Tony? This is ridiculous. They are not going scot free. Oh damn. 
Yes, come in. Uh -uh. Hugo, Enough. you are welcome. Eh? Yes, ma'am. Welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Um, please, is Philip at home? I'd like to see her. No, she's not in. Okay, I'll wait for her then. Uh, it's not a matter of waiting. Philippa is not going to come back here. She left in tears this morning to her parents' house. Uh, Auntie, can I have the address so I could go look for her there? Ah, she went to Enugu. Oh my God. Okay, uh, Auntie, can I still have the address? I'll go look for her in Enugu. Why don't you phone her and discuss with her first? I have tried. I keep calling the line, but it's saying switched off. Auntie, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just confused. Uh, Auntie, please, can I have the address? Uh, okay. Excuse me. Thank you. I love Philippa very much. I know I have wronged her, and, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for it. When you love a woman, she wants you to protect and trust her, and nothing else. Don't listen to what people say. By the grace of God, I'll see her. And I'll tell her how much I love and trust her. I just wish you accept me. This is the parents' address. Okay. If you can find them. Auntie, thank you very much. Okay. I'm very grateful. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Why are you so sad? <sighs> Mommy, it's Philippa. Philippa? <sighs> I've told you to invite her back to the country. Listen, money is no problem. She can come and spend the weekend and then go back. Or better still, I mean, you can go and visit her. <clears throat> it's not the way it seems, Mom. Call her. Or better still, give me her number. I'll call her and talk to her. I mean, if you think that uh, 
If you tell her how you feel that it will get to her head, then I'll talk to her. Mommy, Philippa lives in Nigeria. Philippa does not live in England. Not in England? I don't get you. It's a long story, Mom. Remember when you told me you wanted me to introduce a girl to you on your birthday? Yeah. Well, I met Philippa in a nightclub. I told her about what you said. I convinced her and paid her to act as my fiance, which she did. So you see, ma'am, she does not live in England. It was a lie. Ugona, you did what? I'm sorry, mom, I lied to you. But you put me under so much pressure when I wasn't ready to marry. But... Philippa... I, I, I came to like her. I mean, she's a good girl. Everything couldn't have been a lie. No, mommy. It was a lie at the beginning. But then I found out I truly love her. It was a game. But then I found out I fell in love with her. Mom, I'm sorry, but I've been seeing her since then. She told me lots of things about her. She told me about her family background, why she left home for Lagos. She left because of a forced marriage proposal and she couldn't stay anymore. Things were moving on smoothly, Mom. Till my friend said some things against her. And I... I... I believed them. I accused her falsely, Mom. She couldn't take it anymore and... She left. She went back to Enugu. To stay with her parents. You'll have to go back to Enugu to get her. I mean, I love her. My heart, my soul, my spirit tells me that she's the girl for you. Mommy, but she's gone. I mean, you just told me that she ran away from a forced marriage. Yes, Johnson Duke. The man she was to get married to, she refused. Johnson Duke? The one in the news? The governor's brother? Same one. Well, you see, uh, that is why you, you, you have to get her back. Listen, she's not a gold digger. If she wanted money, she would have married Johnson. But she did not. You see, fate brought you two together. You have to go and get her back. She's the girl for you. What about the lie, Mom? Am I forgiven? Oh, come off it. Listen. Go and bring back my daughter-in-law. And maybe sometime in the future, we'll laugh about those your little lies.
Ernest, I hope you've not forgotten the place, number 35. Yeah, yeah, I'll All do right. so. All right. Wait, 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 that's over there. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, that's the place. Mama. Mama. What is it? There's a young man coming to look for me. I don't see him. It's that man I told you about. I met in Lagos. Mama, it's come, please. Come. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. May I help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. My name is Ugo, and I'm here to see Philippa. Oh, I'm afraid Philippa is not home at the moment. But I thought I saw her come in while I was on my way here. She's not home. All right, ma'am. Um, please, when she comes back, could you tell her that I'm lodging at um, the Royal Palace Hotel? She could check me there anytime. Hotel? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't live in Enugu. I came all the way from Lagos to see her. That was where we met, actually. Well, I think um, you might have to come back another time. She's not home now. Okay, ma'am. I'll do just that. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I must say, ma'am, I now see where your daughter got her good looks from. Well, she's my daughter. Have a nice day, ma'am. You too. Bye. Philippa? Philippa? Phil? My daughter has told us everything about you. Good family, good upbringing, focused and cool-headed. But she does not want to see you. So she has gone out. Daddy, Mommy, I'd like to thank you for receiving me into your house. I appreciate it very much. The truth is, I love your daughter very much. It is my wish to marry your daughter and to have her as my wife, if she will accept me. She knows everything about me. She knows all I've been through in the recent past. She knows my love story. She's the second and last girl I will ever love.
my scattered life, which I've started to bring together since I met her, will lose meaning if she rejects me. I'm sorry, but my heart tells me she's in this house. Mommy, please go and tell her that this young man is begging. He's begging and asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. I will sit down here and wait till she comes. I will not go anywhere. I will sit here till she comes. <laughs> My son, we don't interfere in Philippa's affairs anymore. I did it once and insisted she should marry somebody of my choice. But she rebelled and ran away from this house for a period of one year. Her mother nearly died because of that. Until her sister confidently told us that Philippa is living with her in Lagos. So, you see, she came back a few days ago. Very sober and sorrowful. Well, at least I was happy she was home. She told us about you and all that has transpired between both of you. You, you broke her heart. You did not trust her. You did not even believe in her. Well, I, I guess you've shown enough love by coming all this distance to see her. But like her father told you, we do not interfere in her business anymore. I'm sorry. I will wait, mommy. I will wait till she comes. She will come.
tired of everything. Why is Philippa treating me like this? Why? Why is she so hard hearted? Yes, I wonder, I wonder, but I'm sorry. Ernest, Ernest, yeah, take me down to Eddie, to the bridge. Just, just take me down to the bridge. When you get to the bridge, stop. Just go to the river. Just, just, just jump over, over, over the bridge. That will make her happy. Yes, you'll be happy when I die. You will be happy. And let's say, move now, move. Move, God damn it, move. Ernest! Ernest! Ernest, what's this? I said jump to the bridge! Ernest! Philippa! Philippa! to beg him to give me his uniform to change into, although he turned his back while I changed. Were you serious about drowning yourself in the river because of me? Without love, there is no reason to live. Marry me, please marry me. Yes. Come, come here. Oh, come. Oh, no, baby. <laughs>
now and forevermore.